you guys have any questions? New Mexico Department of Veterans Services Veterans Service Officer Benjamin Stewart State benefits are only New Mexico veterans only. Joined fellow DVS Gallup-based VSO Durrell Sosi. This will be your information here. And Gilbert Lopez, supervisor of the DVS-managed Gallup State Veterans Cemetery at the 9th Annual Veterans Stand Down and Project Hand Up Stand Down for Homeless Veterans on October 7, 2021 at Red Rock Park in Gallup, New Mexico. The city presents this annual stand down, featuring nearly two dozen agencies there to provide short and long-term assistance for homeless and near homeless veterans, or those simply needing a little help during a tough period. In a socially distanced welcome prior to the doors opening, DVS Deputy Secretary Brian Osterhage had a message for the participating agencies. As we know too often, uh, veterans after they leave the service may find themselves on hard times and sometimes it can be a challenge to navigate the resources that are out there for them. Thank you so much for what you're doing today, but not just today, for what you do every day for our veteran community. While the veterans were able to get food and clothing. I got a couple a boot, pair of boots, some literature in here for a couple of things I got to take care of legally and uh, with the uh, housing, and then of course the rucksack. And what's your, do you have an email address or a phone number? The DVS trio was there to answer questions about VA and state veterans benefits, many of which these veterans are unaware of. They're approaching us asking about what benefits they're entitled to, um, what they qualify for, and how they would go about applying for the benefits. It, you know, it's part of our job as a VSO to provide the correct information to veterans that are inquiring about the stuff that they're entitled to. How are you guys doing? Great. Just good? Yeah, very good. Thank you. The next day, about 100 miles north of Gallup, the city of Farmington hosted its annual stand down for homeless veterans. Hi, how are you? DVS Farmington-based Veterans Service Officer Beverly Charlie was the coordinator of the event at the San Juan College Health and Human Performance Center. They're going to go through the long door and they're going to go in the hallway. Okay. They'll let, we'll let you know. Okay. So you'll be in charge of that too. Okay. What cool. time? For several months leading up to the stand down, she and her fellow San Juan County Veterans Collaborative members planned the stand down. On the day of the big event, staff from the New Mexico Workforce Connections Farmington office volunteered to cover Beverly's DVS benefits information table. Come on. Do you guys want to sign these papers for me? Yeah, right here. So right She's going to get you guys started. Freeing her up to supervise the floor. She might have went to go get her teeth fixed. Let me go look. Okay. Can you have a seat out there? Otherwise, you're going to have to put this on. Directing traffic for veterans stopping by to get help from nearly 40 local agencies and businesses offering help with housing, employment, and other services and programs. Candace Tart, she's a doctor. Let me see if she's here and then we'll get you, we'll see if we can get you on that. Okay. Beverly was the driving force behind launching the stand down nine years ago, working with the collaborative to help homeless and at-risk veterans in the Four Corners area, the region she covers as a DVS veteran service officer. I served in the military for 14 years and I work with veterans every day. So I hear the stories. I hear a lot of things that they're going through. And I wouldn't want to be on that side of the road, on that side of the desk. And as always, the committee delivered this year in a big way. As with the Gallup stand down the day before, a free hot meal was provided. There were racks of free clothes, lots of free backpacks. There's a flashlight in there, and then there's also more. Yeah. Free emergency supplies. Free haircuts. I want to be able to eat things I can't eat no more. And even free dental care in consultations, courtesy of the San Juan College Dental Hygiene Program faculty and students. Try to get dentures. Really? Yeah. You've been having problems, or have oh, you ever my. had them before? Nope. I, like when I was loading bombs and I was in Thailand on a flight line, I got hit in the face with a bomb and that knocked my teeth out, and that's what started the whole teeth thing. Stand downs for homeless veterans are modeled after the stand down concept popularized during the Vietnam War, where battle weary soldiers were pulled back from the front lines to get hot meals and much needed rest and relaxation, a break from battling the enemy. The Gallup and Farmington stand downs, even if just for a moment, 
provides a break for veterans battling to survive on the streets. Great help for everybody in general, you know, the homeless, and uh, everybody needs a little bit of help. You know, nowadays, now, the, the pandemic going on. You know, we know a lot of those veterans. Those are our brothers and sisters, if you really think about it. Um, we all served our country, and you know, we're all comrade in arms, so I'm glad we can do this for them. I just want to say thank you so much. I appreciate it, bottom of my heart, for helping us veterans and the homeless people out uh, that having a uh, lot of difficulties with uh, this life.